Carol and Mike, Andy Swingshackle felt good after his wisdom teeth procedure, but 10 days later, that changed, and Andy's health went downhill fast. Andy Swingshackle's life took an unexpected turn this spring. Try and keep the hands on the side. Oh, yeah. This is Andy now, three months after brain surgery. Feet a little bit wider apart. Wider. There you go. His recovery is going well, but at one point, this 22-year-old's life was at risk. In a matter of hours, he had really rapidly deteriorated. Andy was having seizures, and many of his brain functions were shutting down. I couldn't say much. I could say basically yes or no. Surgeons had to move fast. Getting into the OR within hours makes a difference. This all started with a routine dental procedure. Andy had his wisdom teeth pulled. Can you I'm guess sorry. what the answer is? His recovery was normal, but then Andy felt like he was getting sick. He came and told me that he thought he had the flu. Andy's mom, Lori, who is also an oncology nurse, wasn't worried until the next night when she checked on Andy, who was resting in his room. He could not communicate. He, could, he was saying words, but they were inappropriate. It was not answering the question. He was unsteady and is walking. They ended up in the ER. Andy had a bad sinus infection and was admitted. What they didn't know yet, that infection was also in his brain. It got to the point where I, I couldn't move my left, my right side rather, and uh, I couldn't tell anybody about it. And that's when I got scared. Andy was transferred to Aurora St. Luke's Medical Center, and neurosurgeon Dr. Amin Kassam took over. By the time we saw him late that evening, um, he was in pretty dire straits. The infection was not draining. Basically, Andy's brain was strangling itself. So he was probably hours from really being in in a state that would be difficult to recover. Andy needed emergency surgery, so Aurora mobilized a lot of people quickly. Had a neck surgeon, Dr. Marty Corston, two OR crews, and an entire imaging team. There's some abnormal signal right here. Dr. Corston walked us through these images of Andy's brain. So that, and you can see that the right half of the frontal sinus is completely filled with infection. Andy's sinus infection was on the right, his brain infection on the left. And we can see that it's there on the, on the front part of the left lobe of the brain. Quantum physics and uh, Carl Jung. After a successful surgery, Andy is now in healing mode, exercising his brain and his body. I uh, did a lot better on a lot of new exercises and some old ones that I couldn't do before. And is thankful for the medical team that saved his life. And a little bit of mother's intuition also made the difference. If Lori had waited until morning to check on her son, the outcome would have been much different. Oh, that is incredible. How often does something like this happen, mm -hmm. Courtney? It's rare, as we said. Andy had one wisdom tooth that was impacted. So when it was pulled, bacteria got into the sinus cavity. He yeah. had an infection. You usually just treat it with antibiotics and there aren't any problems. But what happened to Andy is something his surgeons say they might see once a year. Scary. In big cities, Scary. right. Yeah. But he's, he's recovering. Yeah, It'll take about a year, goodness. but he'll be good. All right, thanks, Courtney. Wow.